Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This channel is called There Has To Be Something More. I'm your humble host, Scott Moore. Just wanted to check in with you today. It is a beautiful day. It is Tuesday morning. It's about 9.15 or so. I'm up here on the roof. We're hanging out with uh, the with Sam and Roscoe and the puppy who is yet to get a name, still looking for a home for the puppy. But anyway, just enjoying a beautiful day. I uh, just finished my coffee for the morning. And um, I was running through YouTube and it was kind of interesting because, you know, when you're looking at US news, it seems like the, the two things that you see pretty much always right now are elections, what's going on with the election. And on this channel, really, I try to stay away from politics. Uh, but the other big topic, of course, is inflation, how fast your price is going up, uh, you know, everything from the economists screaming about spending. Uh, but just as far as, you know, the everyday normal American, it is, you know, the cost of living, how much is gasoline, how much your food price is up, uh, those kind of type of things. So, uh, very interesting to me and you know what we've said before that Lydia and I although we may come back for a visit here and there to the US we will not be back to live there uh, you know one of the reasons is when you start to look at inflation uh, I mean for us really we look at inflation it's like who cares um, I mean US inflation when we start to look at that here we're probably spending somewhere between 20 and 25 percent of of what we spent in the u.s um that's a that's a pretty close number i mean we spent we used to spend at least five grand a month we're spending somewhere around 11 or 1200 a month with no budgeting at all we just do what we want to do and it always kind of works out around that number here in um shayla aka quetzaltenango guatemala and you can see the beautiful mountains um it is perfect weather here every day you know it's always between say 60 degrees and 73 for the high uh the lows always are somewhere between like 45 and 55. It does get a little bit cooler at night like december january but we haven't gone through that yet but that's about it um but there's so many great places out there this is just one of many um, where you know you can have great weather great food meet great people have enjoy a really unique culture um, and live on say anywhere from 20 percent to 50 percent of what you're spending in the u.s um, you can go to there's websites like numbio uh, is a great website you can go in there compare like how does my city compare to you know and pick a spot you can pick how does bogota colombia compare to greenville south carolina or something like that and you can see and you will be shocked um i did pull up some quick numbers this morning and i didn't go into a lot of detail you all can do the research if you want to but so uh, looking back in in uh, the u.s now lydia and i we lived in florida uh, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, South Carolina, Arizona. So we lived in a lot of spots, but the the city that I spent the most time in was Sarasota, Florida. So just real quickly, I ran in there and put, you know, what's the difference in cost of living between Sarasota and Shayla? And so just to give you some quick numbers, Shayla's rent uh, is 88% lower than it is in Sarasota. Restaurants are 64% lower. Groceries, 41% lower. I really find that number a little bit hard to believe because we come home with bags and bags of groceries for almost nothing. Uh, now, uh, our grocery bill is a little bit different than others. We, uh, I'm vegan, Lydia's pescatarian, so we eat no meat. Uh, but anyway, you can see the numbers are hugely different um, in cost of living. So again, I would say, you know, we'd probably spend 
20 to 25 percent uh, of what we would spend in Sarasota here and don't have to deal with heat and humidity but Sarasota is a beautiful place very very nice you got the cash you know you might want to stay there if you don't like uh, you know adventures um, but also, so here was the, was the other number that I was kind of thinking about. And just for kicks, I Googled like uh, inflation in Guatemala. So the inflation number over the last 10 years has been right around 4% a year. Okay, so let's just say for an example, a single person is going to spend, let's say $1,000 a month here which is very, very realistic. Again, the two of us are spending 11 or 1200. So a single person could easily live here on a thousand dollars. You could, you know, spend as much as you want and live the lifestyle that you want, but you know, easily, comfortably could spend a thousand. Um, so let's say inflation goes up 4%. Well, that means next year, my thousand dollars, I'm going to need $1,040. The the average uh, Social Security check is somewhere around $1,900. I, I forgot to pull it up, but it's somewhere around $1,900 a month. So just to round off numbers, let's say your Social Security check is $2,000 a month. And you get an increase uh, every year. You get a cost of living adjustment. Now, they're different all the time. You know, you're going to get a big one here, a small one here. But just to use, let's say it goes up three percent doesn't even go up four percent it goes up three percent on a two thousand dollar social security check that means you just got an increase of sixty dollars a month it costs you forty dollars a month more than it did last year to live here but you got an increase in your pay of sixty dollars a month it it just got cheaper for you to live here it would if you know if those numbers were to hold true then it just keeps getting less and less expensive for you to live here Again, this is one of thousands of great places. You can go pull up numbers in um, Colombia, uh, Argentina, uh, Ecuador, Vietnam, Thailand, <coughs> Philippines. Uh, you can go to Eastern Europe. Uh, there's just so many places. So if you're worried about inflation, you're worried about the cost of living going up, uh, there's a lot of countries where it could actually just keep getting cheaper and cheaper for you to live in that country. You know, another thing is if you are retired and you've got that average Social Security check of 1900 I mean, we were talking about living here on 1000 That means you'd be putting $900 in savings or you can spend it and just live like an absolute king here. I mean, you can, there's really fancy places. It doesn't matter where you go, whether it's here, you know, even uh, last year when we were in Nicaragua, there's really fancy, super fancy places. Um, and then imagine you're a couple, a retired couple, and you've got $1,900 check each. You got $3,800. I, I honestly don't know how you could spend it here. Um, I guess you could, but it would be difficult. I mean, you'd have to live in a mansion. You'd have to go out every night. Um, I don't know. I guess you could do it, but it would be it would be challenging to spend your Social Security check. Now, that also means that we've gotten into this before. That also means that any money that you have in retirement accounts, um, you know, they the required minimum mandatory distributions keep getting pushed farther and farther as you get older and older and older. Um, so that money in your retirement account can just keep growing and growing and growing and growing because you don't have to use it. Not like you would in the U S where you'd have to start drawing an income because you're not going to live on social security in the U S. So anyway, lots of great places out there. Shayla is one of hundreds or thousands of great places where you just don't have to worry about inflation. Um, just food for thought, if you're kind of tinkering around with the idea of moving abroad, having an adventure. Uh, but hey, if you are trying to retire a little bit early, you're not enjoying sitting in your cubicle at work or whatever it is that you do, you're feeling bored, you're feeling like you're, you know, the years are flying by and you're not having those adventures, just remember, if you need that adventure, there has to be something more.